people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pass, say what they do. Now, people, the first part of this video is coming from the files of Head No Good and Domara. And people, this is based on an information that occurred in a place called St. Elizabeth. And it is said that detectives from the Popo, they are investigating or probing an armed robbery in which one of the robbers were basically con and basically taken out. And based on information, it is said that at about 2 p.m. on Friday, some men basically rush into a community bar in a place called Burnt Ground. We are speaking about the housing scheme in a Santa Cruz. Now, based on the information, it is said that one of the gunmen allegedly conned himself while he was trying to escape. And it was theorized that he was trying to put back the tool in his ways when it accidentally went off and hit him in the grind. And it is said that he basically passed away. He was taken to the place of recovery. However, he did not make it. And based on the information, it is said that the next one basically ran into a getaway car and took away himself. Now, people, based on all that we see going on in Jamaica transparent, as it pertains to the thief, and as it pertains to persons getting slapped away, as it pertains to all of the thiefery, as it pertains to all of the hyenaism and two-foot pussery, it is always good when we have an example to show these clowns, to show these idiots out there that claim that they are thieves, they are robbers. So people, the point that I am trying to make is that it is quite obvious that we are speaking about a set of persons who are not functioning, we are speaking about mentally. It seems as if they are on some sort of S-U-I-C-I-D-A-L mission and people like them say, why gain the world, why go out and rob when afterwards we are speaking about one out of the two is gone. So people, them lose a friend because of stupidity. Them lose a friend because they don't want to work. They lost a friend because they are lazy. However, people, every day we see the same thing happening in the news. However, it seems as if they don't learn from the exit example i am speaking about the bad example of others so people like them say who can hear they are always going to feel and when you feel may i talk about feel to the point where you can't feel anymore so people may just make them know say you are going to end up total we are speaking about in a cold place we are speaking about in a little six foot six box we are speaking about modern or dove cut if you keep up the same f-u-c-k-r-y point blank and period now, people, when we think about the fact of how petty these thieves and how stupid these thieves are, they are basically robbing a community bar. Now, people, may ask you a question. Are they drunk? Are they basically sipping for some sort of mod P-U-S-S-P-I-S-S? -S -S -S? Because how much money do they expect to find at a bar with a whole lot of people that are supposed to be farmers? Because, people, the point is that St. Elizabeth is supposed to be the breadbasket capital of Jamaica. So, therefore, you can expect the possibility or probabilities are more than likely you are going to find farmers. You are not going to find any sort of hustlers. We are speaking about D-R-U-G-S dealers or any sort of high profile profile people so people what them are look for alcohol what are they looking for jerry and nevio are we are speaking about red stripe people you know sister them people are lose them brain point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon, and also press all in the option. Now, people, continuing on the theme of Sick Head and Domara. We are speaking about an incident that involved a 21-year-old man and his name is Marvin Bowman O.C. Chinmix. And people, it is said that he was fatally conned up and a firearm also seized. We are speaking about on Friday. And this incident was said to have occurred in a place called Sun Valley Main Road. We are speaking about in the Montego Hills. We are speaking about in St. James. And based on the report from the Montego Hills Popo Station, it is said that at about 8.45 on Friday night, an off-duty Popo officer, he was traveling in a taxi and people, the taxi run out of petrol. 
And based on the report, it is said that after the taxi run out of petrol on the Sun Valley main road, it is said that Mr. Bowman and the next thief, they were hiding in the bushes. And them basically approached the taxi and people, little did they know that a popo or an off-duty popo was in the cab and people. It is said that he basically opened up fire upon them and after the SMOKE cleared, Mr. Bowman was basically held, clutching on to a tool and he lost his life. He was taken to the place of recovery. However, people, too late was the call. There was no start of recovery. And it is also said that the next man, Tekwe himself, we are speaking about, he took bushes for it. He took more bushes and basically escaped. Now, people, when we think about what is going on in Jamaica with these desperate foes, with these so-called thieves, these so-called robbers, we see that they are losing their life on a daily basis. And people, like I've always said, whenever one of these thieves lose their life, it is not any time for hold any sort of sympathy party. It is always reason for celebration because people like them say, who can hear they are going to feel and when them feel them can't feel no more i wonder if you feel what me i say so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about an incident that I did about an 18-year-old youth, and his name is Tavane Davis. And I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Lower Elliston Road, me I talk about, in a Kingston, where it is said that a group of gunmen basically rushed one minibus containing a lot of workers from a call center and it is said that the driver tried to hit a reverse and take away himself however he was conned up and also a passenger in the bus and it is said that all the persons in the bus were robbed of all sorts of money cell phone chain wallet rate lele blue blah bling and based on the information it is said that during the robbery one of the persons one of the passengers in the bus tried for all on the 18 year old youth may talk about tavian and it is that his cronies start to bust up here, shot in the bus and basically accidentally hit their own. We are speaking about Tavian Davis, the 18 year old. And it is said that they tried to take him to the place of recovery. However, when they realized that he was not going to make it, when they realized that too late was the call, then basically dished him out, then basically dashed him outside in our own community. Now, people, based on the information, like I said, he was 18 at that time, maybe about a couple of days ago. However, this person was also in the news three years ago. We are speaking about when he was 15. And this is based on an incident that occurred in a place called Vauxhall High School. And it is said that three teachers tried to hold him down and trim him because they said that his hair was too high. It was not appropriate. And also the board of Vauxhall High School, they also put these teachers on disciplinary action. And also one other teacher, he was locked up by the popo. So people, like I said, that incident three years ago, it was all over the news and it is said that that incident, the case, it was settled out of court. I don't know if the mother or the parents or the youth get any sort of monetary compensation. Me no know. It was just settled out of court. So people, like me said, this occurred three years ago and then the incident, it occurred maybe about a couple of days ago. Now, people, like we see, as it pertains to Jamaica, there's a lot of indiscipline. We are speaking about as it pertains to the Pope or the preacher, the politician, and even the teachers in this case. Because the truth and the fact is that no teacher is supposed to hold on any sort of student and basically trim him if it is not following the protocols of the school or the school board. So, people, we are speaking about abuse. So people may just say so we have to ask ourselves a very serious question. We have to ask ourselves the abuse of these youth in Jamaica contributing to a whole lot of the crimes that we see going on in Jamaica. Are they taking out their frustration on people? I am not saying that it is justified because it's truth and the fact that a lot of Jamaicans live or come up in a some sort of A B U S I V E home. However, they become very productive persons in a society. So I don't give any sort of justification and giving it any sort of reason. I just I say this is something that we have to think about. We are speaking about mental illness. 
So people, I am just saying that while it is no excuse for any sort of robbery or any sort of slap away, we have to also take it into consideration that it might have some sort of domino effect, some sort of negative effect on society and specifically these youths in the community, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.